Hi, welcome to the Get Organized in Movie Maker tutorial. In this video, we'll set up folders, we'll create a new movie, we'll add images, and then we'll move those images around on the timeline. Go ahead and hover your mouse on a blank spot on your desktop, or if you're using a USB thumb drive, create your folder there. Right click, go to New, click on Folder. Now let's name that folder the title of your digital story. So for example, I'm doing mine called My Failed Interview. Open this folder and create two subfolders doing that same right click new folder process. The first one is going to be called Images and the second one will be Sound. Now go ahead and open this folder up and what I've already done is I've copied all the images that I've collected for this project and I'm going to go right click and paste all my pictures right in here. These are all JPEG files. And I'm going to do, yeah, just so you can take a look, you can see what my pictures look like. Next, I'm going to do the sound. Same thing. I'm going to, I've copied all the music that I want to use for this story. I'm going to paste it in here. All right. Note, this is vital. You have to keep your images and sound organized in subfolders. And it is so vital, especially if you plan to work from a USB drive on more than one PC computer. Right? So as you move, so as you add more images, be sure the source file is saved in the image folder. The same goes for the sound. You can see this is a finished project and I have everything organized in one spot. Images, sound, storyboard, script, it's all right there. Great. Let's open Movie Maker. First, click on that Start button on the bottom left, and in the search area, we can type in Movie. It comes right up on top, Movie Maker. If I click on that, I'm in Movie Maker. And now I can add images to this, either here or at that top. Click on either one of those. Now remember, we have to use that folder that we created a minute ago for images. And now these are the pictures that I had pasted in there. Select one. If I hold the control key down, I can select multiple pictures. Go ahead and hit open. And we can see I have three pictures on my timeline. And if I click one, it'll move to that picture. You can see in the preview, when I click on it, it changes. I can always add more. And I'll just maybe select one more here. So now I have four pictures. You know what? I'm going to add, I'm just going to do all of them. I'm going to hit Control A and that selects everything and I hit open. Now I have all those pictures on the timeline. I've done a little bit of work, so I better save this. So I click on that top left, I click Slave Project and I hit Find, you know, find the folder. This is important. Find the folder that I have been working in and I'm going to type in my failed interview, which is the title of my, my story, and I hit save. Great. I saved my project. Just take a quick look at the Explorer window. This is my project folder, and I have my images, I have my sound, and now I have my movie maker file. So it's, it's starting to, you know, we got to keep that organized. All right, let's go back to movie maker and start arranging our timeline. So we're moving the images around on the timeline. All I do is I click an image and I gr drop it where I want it to go. You can see when I click it and drag it, it has that little word move underneath it and I can drop it wherever I want. Just click it, drag it, drop it. So I start to put these in the order that I want them to appear. Notice I have a couple duplicates in here and I can delete these out of here easily. Just click on the one I want to delete and there's a little red X at the top. Remove, click and remove. I'm going to go through and just remove all these duplicates. All right. Before you finish here, make sure you hit save. Always hit save. So that basically wraps up this getting organized tutorial. Coming up next, we're going to add transitions between the pictures and we're going to add pan and zoom to make movement in the images themselves. 